Today's video is about successfully bonding or introducing your guinea pigs. Whether you just got a new guinea pig or want to give separated guinea pigs another chance at life in a herd, here are tips to make your guinea pigs get along. First of all, the most important thing to remember is that introductions always mean stress. A bit of fighting, noise, chasing and perhaps small scratches or bite marks. This is completely fine, normal and to be expected. It is not a reason to separate your guinea pigs or to think that the introduction has failed. Also, there's always chasing, rumble strutting, annoyance and sometimes a bit of nipping and non-serious biting involved in an otherwise super peaceful group. This is also normal. The last important thing to know is that when guinea pigs grow older, gain weight or are sick, the dynamic of the herd changes and there might be a period where there's suddenly more stress and fighting. This is also totally okay. In most cases, guinea pigs are able to sort out their problems within a few days or weeks. The only reason to separate your piggies is when you notice blood. Small scratches, especially in the area around their nose, is not a problem. Sylvester has had a scratch on his nose every time we introduced a new guinea pig. And last week I woke up to Minnie having a scratch on her nose because she was chasing Gatsby and Gatsby was fed up. A day later they were happily eating hay together and have calmed down since then. That being said, let's get into the introduction tips. Neutral territory. While guinea pigs aren't the most territorial pets, they should be introduced on neutral territory with lots of space to chase and avoid. You can use a fence and fleece liners to quickly set up this area. No Heidi's where they can get stuck. Heidi's can turn into traps during an introduction, so most Heidi's cannot be used. Platforms can be used if your guinea pigs are too scared to do a proper introduction and just sit around and freeze. Heidi's that have walls or sides to them lead to fighting. Even Heidi's with two or more entrances can turn into traps if one guinea pig feels stuck. Food. Put piles of hay and veggies in the introduction area. Hay is great because depending on how long the introduction lasts, they might need to snack on it in between. Veggies are great to relax the situation and to divert their attention from fighting. Several piles that aren't too close together give every pig the chance to eat without stress. Keep a towel nearby. In case there really is a fight during introduction, which means a ball of guinea pig fur rolling around, biting each other and drawing blood, keep a towel ready. Don't reach into the area with your unprotected hands. Your guinea pigs might be so focused on the fight that they accidentally hurt you. Sometimes it's enough to throw the towel or even some hay at them to confuse them. New cage. The older guinea pigs shouldn't have an advantage in their known territory, so the cage should have clean bedding or fleece liners. You can also change the setup, such as moving the Heidi's and hay rack around, so that all of your guinea pigs need to explore the new cage. Patience. It can take several hours before the situation on neutral territory has calmed down and the guinea pigs are ready to move into their new cage. A bit of fighting, so chasing, rumble strutting, squeaking and loud noises in general, teeth chattering can occur for the next couple of days. Don't project human emotions. When you see a new guinea pig being chased and being visibly annoyed, it's hard not to feel sorry for it. However, this is their natural behavior and they need to sort out their ranks without someone interfering because they feel sorry. It's quite normal for your older guinea pigs to ignore the newcomer at first. Eventually, they will react though and it can get quite loud. The new guinea pig might complain or squeak or might be chased around by all of your guinea pigs. This looks horrible for us humans, but that's how they establish dominance so that they can all live as one big happy herd. Only interrupt this process if you see blood or serious fighting, not nipping or small scratches. The introduction might also lead to smaller confrontations between your old guinea pigs, so pigs that usually get along. This is also totally normal and will settle within a few days. So don't separate because you feel sorry or because you want to give one or all of the guinea pigs a break. Once you've started with the introduction, 
Only interfere if you see blood. Guinea pigs don't continue where they left off, they start again, which means more stress if you separate them and then reintroduce them. These were my tips for introducing guinea pigs. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Bye!